Good morning, UVA. This is your very own James Dixon, owner of Sub Zero. We are here in Asheboro, North Carolina. 10 a.m. split stop. Our future match for this morning will be your very own, the legends, the GOAT versus the sneaky bandits. We're gonna be featuring on our first, the scratch pair. And for the sneaky bandits, they have uh, A. Bola K. Richards, Anthony Hawkins, and Mark Patello. And for GOAT, they have Joshua, Mr. 300 Pittman, Jason Triplett, and your very own Pierre Gaither Dre, AKA Flash. Looks like GOAT got a really strong lineup because why? This is stop 12. And once, once again this year, the Triad District is really going neck to neck down to the last six teams fighting for four spots. And GOAT right now is sitting at number four. Looking to hold that position or jump higher for playoff positions. So far, the scratch pair, Josh Pittman starts off with a scratch, with a strike, and uh, thank you. And uh, Jason Triplet with a strike, and the flash leaving the 10 pin. One thing about the triad this year, you can't take nobody lightly, but anything can happen. But I think, I think Goat is gonna come in here and put up big numbers. They, they look like they're really trying to get back to that uh, playoffs. Good seeing you. Also, I'm no longer named Trash Knees no more. On May 1st, I just had uh, bilateral knee replacements on both knees. So far, the recovery is doing really well. I'm up and walking. And looking forward to getting back to bowling sometime by Battle Bowl. Right there for let me get my sheet. Hey, hey big dog. Jason Triplett, first shot, first strike. Miss spare from Anthony Hawkins. Ah, 
It's ten back with Dre. Scratch pair looking good right now. Going up into frame three. Colts got a 13 pin lead with no opens, and the Sneaky Bandits have two opens. Josh Pittman up at the line. It's 10 back. Nothing new with this guy. Strikes a ton every way he goes. Team, team perfect fit. Brunswick Stafford. Jack, Jack got it. Jason Triplett up for the second shot. He's dead on. Jason Triplett has started off looking really good, like the old Jason Triplett I've seen before. OK, K. Richards with the first strike. Left a nine pin. She's looking like she's struggling a little bit, but I've seen her bowl before. She's not bad. She'll get it going. <laughs> we got Dre Gaither up. He's got a double. He's got a strike and a double. Josh Spitman, strike, split spare, strike. Jason Trippett, front three. Goats up 50 pins right now. Uh, Anthony Hawkins. Do an eight count. He's not quite lined up. match for goal today is a good opportunity for them to get a lot of points as is Nikki Bandits is like one of the not so strong teams in the triad so it's definitely a great draw for goal for the positioning that they're trying to get into for the playoffs Jason Josh Pittman got up there 10 pin Alright, 
so far going into the fourth frame. Jason Tripp is up front three. Four in a row for Jason Tripp. Next is the flash. Oh, flash looking like he's lining up. He's got three in a row. Spare three in a row. Gold scratch pair has really started to take control of the match. Very early. They up 80, 83 pins. something drastically happened. This is not going to be a good pair for Sneaky Bandits. Yeah, looking like Sneaky Bandits is starting to build up opens. Pretty much going to be going into the six frame down 100 pins. Dutch 200 going. Kay is keeping the ball in play. She just can't quite get to the pocket yet. I know for this game, they're running out of time. Oh, Jason Triplett with a nine pin. Flash up next. Let's see if he can keep his strike string going. Nice little run, Jason. You fooled me. I thought you was back, but. Josh is struggling on the left now. Back. 
back to work. Bowling, I ain't in a rush. Listen, I live off of work. Not listen, listen, listen. listen. I just yeah. need eye surgery, so, right. yeah. so trust me, I want to get back to work fast. I get, all right. Yeah. Oh, uh, we are back. We we'll talk though, because we still got to do that other thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know what I mean by that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if Jason Tripper can get back on it. There you go, he's back. Consistently getting it to the pocket. But just not having no results yet. It's Dre Gator. He's got five in a row after the first 10 pin in the first frame. Looking pretty solid right now. Votes up 122. Anthony Hawkins, a sneaky bandit, one of their stronger bowlers. Ten back. He's trying to fight for the team. But it's the wrong kind of fight today. Go, go, the scratch pairs looking really focused. They know the task that's in hand, and right now they are performing. Triplet. He's back at it. Double. Josh Pittman threw a strike. All right, we got Drake Gaither up. Mr. Flash, born for six in a row. Ooh. Got a little outside. See if Josh Pittman can figure this 99 out. Haven't thrown a strike on it yet. Got a little. Yep. Still haven't quite gotten it.
spare. Another spare, Josh Pittman. Triple it up, going for a three bagger. Ten back. I must say, go have some really good bowlers. Ten back for the. Anthony Hawkins. Let's see if Mr. Flash get back on it. Oh, and he went up too high for the split. Coach still under control, but I feel like Sneaky Ben is just trying to throw some strikes to, to chop it down, get a little closer going into the 10th. Oh, Josh Pittman, I was on his striking lane and he didn't strike. First two bowlers win in the ninth. Uh, Sneaky Ben is uh, only down 77 pins right now. Jason Triplett is trying to keep them on their back and pull them through this game one. Get them. CKK get a double. Okay. She's in the pocket. Greg Gaithers needed this one. There you go. Yeah, looks like Gold's gonna get past his first game scratch pair with a little hiccup in the last two frames. Still, still have control of it.
Breaker guy for Sneaky Bandits, Anthony Hawkins. Trying to make some noise for Sneaky Bandits. He's definitely going to need some help against this gold scratch player. Josh Pittman with the first strike on that lane. for the second shot of 10th. He's 10 back. Look like he's got this lane now. Leadoff guy for the Sneaky Bandits, 208. Josh Pittman, 208. This is a, this the two spot is where the separation is. And Jason Tripp is going for 279, and Kay Richards can finish with 182. That's going to be the real big difference of the score. Shot ten pound. K. Richards goes six three with a one fifty seven. At the end of this game, we're gonna probably be moving over to the second pair, handicap one. Anthony Hawkins. He's been striking since the fifth frame. He's trying to keep it close. That's all he can do, but I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. Uh, Jason Triplett, 258. To K's, 157. I got a point difference right there. Trey Gate, they could finish with 230 if he goes sheet. And this Anthony can go. 240 if he goes shoot. So game one goes to goal. Yeah. Didn't expect nothing less. 10 back from Drake A3.
Let's get one goat. Goat 689 to Sneaky Bandit 608. I'm gonna move over, over to handicap number two. Let me wobble around with, with these bad knees, well, new knees. <laughs> This handicap at three, we got Sneaky Bandits. You have Chris Price, Jason Cox, and Ray Afri. And for Gold, they have Anthony Venezuela, Charles Scott, and Max Fisher. So basically going into game two, Gold lost game one by pin. And it looked like they kind of got the message now. They're getting lined in now. Sorry about that, big bro. What's up, man? How are you? All right. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing great, man. Yeah, knee surgery. Knee replacements, both. Feeling a lot better. I mean, it ain't hurt. Both of them? Both, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm not hurting, it's just getting the stretch back. But it's a man work, it's just like, yeah. I need to lose some man work. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I see you out there. More than time night, I'm like, damn, as he's doing this. Time. What's, up, man? Right. What's up, Chris? I'm all right. I don't know how to get Tony Venezuela back in the ball in LA. Let's get you up to par. Frank two for gold. They got double, double, nine spare, nine spare. Sneaky Bandits has strike spare, open strike, double. All right. So I've been pushed to go to lane two. Did y'all win this pair? Nah. Did y'all win this pair? We lost how many? Both pairs. Uh, like 15 on this one and okay. two on another pair. Game one, Goat lost handicap one, two. But they're pretty much in control of wood. They only lost by a pin on both pairs. You stay right in the way. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to not fall. All these bowling bags and these stiff legs. There we go, now we're situated. So the only thing that's tough about when you're bowling lower teams and the handicap is so high and become close if you left. Handicapped bowlers get confident. He's bringing him a chair here. He's bringing him a chair. I'm good. Nah, too many bowlers back. I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. 
Huh? Put his bum in the lineup. He yeah. begs for it. Better do something. All right. Looking like Goat putting it together for this second game now. What's the handicap on this pair? So this handicap one pair, Goat's giving up 57 pins. And they lost game one by a pin. Handicap pair one, you have for Sneaky Bandits, Andy McCaskill, Alan McCaskill, excuse me, Raymond Mate, and Christopher Sams. And for GOAT, you have Mal Williams Jr., Emily Kyle, and Jacob Lee Shipley. So far, GOATs. Both GOAT handicap pairs has lost game one. up in the third frame, working off a double. Yeah, so three-bagger for Mr. Mal Williams. Looking real focused. That's the front three for all three bowlers on GOAT. Yeah, 
Christopher Sam's up. Raymond with a strike. Allen, a nice strike double. So on this handicap pair, Goat is given 57 pins. And really Kyle up for the fourth shot. That's four bagger. He can shake and simply following him up with the first 12 shots for a goal. Raymond with a double. Raymond Monte. Alan McCasco with a three bagger. with a strike on the left side of the lane. So for the fifth frame, Sneaky Bandit's got a three-bagger, a strike. And Mr. Anthony going for a three-bagger. Five in a row for Mr. Mal Williams. Seven count, Mr. Allen. Emily Kyle up on lane 11. Going for her fifth bagger. Ten back. I don't know. I think this game one, this middle pair got pissed off and they done caught the anger fire. It's 
fair right here by Mr. Allen. Raymond Montre, Jacob Shipley with a five in a row. So we're going into the sixth frame, and you got Goat, Middle Pair, all got strikes going in. up in the sixth frame. Can he keep it going? Oh, corner seven pin. Spare made by Mr. Christopher Sims. And we got a 10 back by Macau. She's got six in a row. She didn't follow up from now. And Jacob Shipley gets up there and I guess he might have dropped it, went across his body for the A count. Scratch Goat is up 128 pins. They're giving up 57, so. Look like they got this game under control right now. Just striking that these guys started off. Let's see if Mal Williams can get up in the seventh frame and get back to striking. Him. Ten back from Al Williams. Let's see if Emily Kyle can keep going for her front six run. Christopher Sams with a seven. Front 
sabe? Emily Cowell has won South Bowler. Christopher Sands with despair. Let's see if Jacob Shipley can get back on it. That's nice turn back. Looking like Gold starting to push away with up, up 100 on this pair. It's the Ram and Mate with a strike. Alan McCaskill with a double after the open. Like he's stuck up there a little bit. Christopher Sam with a nine count. Mal Williams taking off one with an eight open. Ten pick could have left, left seven. with a three-bagger, trying to put up a fight. I think it might be a little bit too late. Jacob Shippey going in. He's going for a double. We're going into the ninth frame. Boat is up 139 scratch, minus the 57. Casco with a three bagger. Now Williams with a ten pin.
Cal up in the ninth round. Let's see, can she get back on the strike this room? Strike for Emily. Looking at a 279 finishing. Jacob Shifley, six pin. To the 10th frame. Gold is up 125 minus 57. It's pretty much look like gold got this this game. Nice four bagger for Mr. Allen. First one in the team. Nice big 241 game. Appreciate it. All right, Mr. Mal Williams finished with a 226. Second bowler where the pin difference is. This Emily Kyle is going in, finishing it out for 279 if she strike out. Oh, that is not good. Worst time for 17. Sands with the spare. Tough break. Shipley with an eye count. Even with Emily's 7-10, I think Goat will finish this game winning by over 50 pins. We're going to be focusing on our last game on the third pair of the handicap. 
handicap too. to get set up over there. Still working on some rehab knees, so give me a little minute to get moving. Sneaky band is Chris Price, Jason Cox, and Ray Atif. Ray Arif. And you have Anthony Venezuela, Charles Scott, and Max Fisher. Did y'all win game two? Max, did y'all win game two? Yeah. Okay, so it's one and one? Yeah. So going into the third game, it's one and one with this game. You know you threw it fucked up since your last game. You guys are getting 70 pins? Huh? Y'all getting 70 pins? Okay, on this handicap here, Goat was giving 70 pins handicap. Good to see him back to bowling. It's one of the toughest lefties down in the south when he was bowling. All right, up on lane 14, you got Max Fisherman. Thank you. 
Chris Price with a strike. Oh, okay. Venezuela going up for a three bag. It's ten bag. He used to be my idol. My eyes are off. I still put my money on you. The hardest part is when you're giving up 70 pins handicap. Yeah, this is Jason Cox with a double. Max Fisherman with the line in with a double shot. Got Mr. Charles Scott, Mr. Charles Tarantin. Giving up 72 pins.
up now. to the sixth frame and stretch goes up 57 pins. Let's take into consideration they're giving up 72. Charles Starrington with a double. finishing the ninth on in, in the frame with this sneaky bandits. Giving up for his team. It's three in a row. Price with a nine. You know who submit the lineups? Ain't no way ahead. 
That's the only thing I give y'all. The handicap one and, and scratch. Missing a five pin on lane 13. to the eighth frame. Bolt is up 52 pins. All of their bowlers with strikes. And uh, Sneaky Ben is just not trying to lay down for gold. That's for sure. We got a double with Max Fisherman. Well, uh, the old TV, he's back. Go to 
three bagger. Say anything can happen in this bowling world. This sneaky bandit, handicap pair three is putting up a fight. Jason Cox for a sneaky band. This is on a three bagger. This is definitely going to go down into the 10th frame with this pair. so right. far. Nice. Going good. Going good. Doing? Appreciate it. Thanks for asking. Spare for Chris. to the 10th frame. Scratch-wise, GOAT was up 103. Uh, they're given 72 pins. Max Fisherman with the first one. Let's see if can Jason Cox match what he do. Got it? Jason Cox. Ah, oh, he got a foul. It's too bad this is not action. That foul count. Jason 
They're discussing. They're discussing if he fouled or not. Nobody heard it go off. Nobody saw it go off. I don't know. I guess you just you put the strike in, I guess. I don't know. It's good. It's a tough decision. But everybody on go on this pair didn't see the man foul, so. with a double in the tenth. Nine is not even scoring. Huh? You gotta add the strike here now. Yeah. Mike Fishman with the spare. Check with the district member. Unless nobody saw that it was a foul or not a foul, then it was called a foul. That might have went good for the goat side on that one. But we still have a match here. The middle pair winning. Charles Therrington finishes strong with a 237. Put go up 138 scratch. Remember, they're giving up 72 pins. Tough break, Anthony Venezuela. Seven split.
with a 242, go up 150 pins, going into Sneaky Bandit's last bowler. Plus 72, he throws the first ball as a strike, and it's a double going in. game by 30 pins. I don't know what the wood is looking like, but I'm thinking might have won the wood on this pair too. So I'll give you the total points for the two handicap pairs. But right now, we're going to go over to the scratch pair that's finishing up in the 10th. We have Dre Grafter up in the 10th frame. No, 9th frame, excuse me. Working off a strike in the 8th. Goat is up, scratch, 19 pins on the scratch pair. With all three Goat bowlers throwing a double, 8th and 9th frame. So the middle front, middle pair, Goat won that pair six to four. Tough. The score doesn't, the points doesn't add up to how good Goat bowl, but it's just, the handicap is a lot to chase. But they both pretty solid to get six off of that pair. Six four, and the end pair went eight two. And right now we're looking at the scratch pair. Goat lost the second game, but it looks like the last game they pretty much under control. That's probably going to go eight to two. Goat. So, so it's probably going to be a total of thirty to ten. Goat if my math is, is correct. Once again, this is nothing but the UBA, baby. Sunday morning, 10 o'clock spot. Triad District, one of the toughest districts in the South. Goat wins 30 to 10. Stay alive for the playoff hunt. This is your one and only Mr. Old Bad Knees, New Knees Now, James Dixon, signing off. UBA all day. We out.
We're back. We didn't leave yet. A scratch pair isn't it done. Pretty much done, but not done. So for sneaky bandage, you have 248, 184, a potential 189 if they strike out. And for GOAT, we have 215, potential 257, and potential 244. count by Mr. Anthony. So the best he can do is 179 if he's spared. Strike. Mr. Jason Triplett with finishing up with a 244. So we have 215, 244, GOAT. Then you have 248, 184, Sneaky Bandit. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Mr. Gaither with a 4-9. First shot, pretty much didn't need it. It's gonna probably gonna be 30 to 10. 32 10, I stand corrected. 32 8. At this point, it's all about points. And GOAT came in, did, it what, did what they needed to do to keep keeping track of that playoff spot. They holding up that fourth spot. And once again, this is your man, James Dixon. No more trash knees, new knees. Signing off, UBA, all day. Boom.